Hello, hello, hello. It's Marilyn Alori and welcome to Who Can It Be Now? Today you are going to get a very special episode, but before you rush over and go in there, I want to tell you a couple of quick stories. So today's episode is the predictions for 2023, just so you know. And um, it's definitely a very popular channeling session that I do for people. And what's interesting about my predictions is people expect things to be predicted in the way of uh, tell me if I'm going to meet a man or will I win the lottery and things like that. And my predictions run um, differently. They give you, they empower you, they give you choices, they tell you possibilities. And then it's up to you to do what you need to do to make that happen. One of the things Spirit showed me the other day is they were handing me keys to hand to everyone. They said, you can hand people keys, but they've got to put the key in the door, unlock the door and open it. You can open the door for them, but they got to walk through it. You can put the keys in the ignition of the car, but they have to drive it. You get where I'm going, right? So as I shift and change and expand and grow and shift more even in my business, and I'm channeling quite a bit lately, I am learning more and more how I am here to empower others. So I'm going to tell you a really quick story that I think will be really beneficial for you as you enter into 2023. Um, and in the meantime, also, I want to tell you about a special class that I'm doing if you're interested in joining. So right now, I'm recording this on November 29th, 2022. And just yesterday, I announced to my members that I was closing Membership for Your Soul, a program that I've had for over 10 years. If you want to hear how I got to that decision and my year in review, please um, go to the episode before this, my year in review, and listen to it. I think you'll enjoy it. I also think you'll learn a lot from it if you're looking to grow, change, expand, and so on. And the thing I want to share with you is um, Sunday night, we just, we had to turn off some of the payments, right? Because membership is recurring payments and stuff. And one of the members contacted me and said, oh my goodness, you canceled my payment. Why? And I couldn't tell her what was going on because I didn't feel it was fair to leak it out. I wanted all the members to find out together. So I just said, you'll get an email tomorrow explaining why it has nothing to do with you. And thank you so much. So after that, I was like a little panicked because I care deeply about everybody in this group. And I wasn't sure how they were going to receive the news. So just that moment after I sent that message, I took a breath and I just connected with Jesus. And I just said, Jesus, just help me, help me in this moment, help everybody to receive this news and understand what's going on. And, um, as we support each other through our journeys, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I felt this complete connection with Jesus. Now I was raised Catholic. I went to Catholic, all girls Catholic school for 12 years. I was raised on novenas and prayer cards. I still have prayer cards that I use every single night, but there was a different connection on Sunday night. And I just felt that heart to heart connection with Jesus. And I'm going somewhere with all this. I promise that's going to help you. So the next day, Monday, yesterday, we sent out the email and also dropped a video that I did for everyone. And the response has been absolutely beautiful, amazing, incredible, supportive, celebratory, um, really unbelievably beautiful. And it really has touched my heart. And it just shows me the types of people that membership for your soul are, is, you know. So during all of that, I started having struggles with one of my team members. And if you listen to my year in review, you're going to hear a lot about that. And um, so I was kind of dealing with that. I was like, this is not the day for us to be having these kinds of conversations. It felt very not appropriate to me. And it was all via Slack, which is an app I use to communicate with my team. I'm having a lot of pain in my body because I'm going through um, a yeast cleanse right now. I have a lot of yeast in my body. By the way, let me talk about unsolicited advice. I did a whole podcast about how I can't stand unsolicited advice, and I really can't. Though I do understand that a lot of you guys give me advice because you care. So I do want to say that because sometimes we get, um, I don't see all the emails, but sometimes we get emails, you know, offering advice to me because of something I've said. And I want to assure you that everything I share from you, to you, with you, is from a place of deep, deep, deep understanding and knowing. I'm not sharing it from a place of pain. I wouldn't really come to this podcast and share something from a place of pain. I feel it's my duty to do the work first and then share the stories. So just know that I'm okay. And thank you so much for caring for me. And maybe before you, you can write the email, but 
think twice before you hit send because I really don't like unsolicited advice. I don't give it to other people um, and I really don't like getting it. Okay, what's unsolicited advice? Advice that I didn't ask for, just in case you're wondering. I got off on a tangent. So anyway, I uh, was dealing with that yesterday and it was annoying, to be honest with you. And I was like, I am still, we're, we're coming up that today, what we're emailing today, and I'm seeing the number 1111, thank you, God, and the universe and spirit. Um, what we're emailing today is how we're taking care of people because we had a lot of yearlies, we had a lot of bonus people in, there's just a lot of things that we had to figure out on our end. Anybody who runs a business, um, please know the back the, the things that go on behind the scenes, because I don't think a lot of people are honest about that. It was a lot of work for us to figure this out. And um, so today those emails go out. So again, I'm holding space like, oh, I hope that they, you know, we put a lot of thought and care and energy into this. We truly care about everybody. I hope, you know, I'm hoping everybody receives it that way, feels all the love in it. I don't know how it's going to go, but again, I'm connecting with Jesus and just asking for the light to be held there. So this morning I got up and I was journaling um, a bit about it. And what I'm not sharing with you is over the weekend on Thanksgiving, my brother said something really nasty again to me, basically called me pathetic. And I was sitting there arguing for my, like that I wasn't pathetic. I'm not pathetic. You know, how he sees me is up to him. And as I was arguing with him a little bit, I was like, what am I doing? I don't need to argue with him. He can have his opinion. Why is he triggering me? Who cares what he thinks? But what happened for me, and this all going to summarize everything I'm telling you, is I walked away from that conversation. Now, I was so looking forward to Thanksgiving, so looking forward to it. And I walked away from that conversation thinking, what the F, man? Why did he trigger me? Why do I care what he thinks? And what came up for me is how much through my whole life, my family has never supported me. They really just put me down. Now, let me say this. Not woe is me, pity is me. I am responsible for my life. I'm an adult. And I had had a lot of opportunities that other people never had. I had a, a mother who definitely in one way was a little, you know, off kilter and in another way so, so loved us and made sure that we had opportunities. So I'm very appreciative of my mother. My father who was batshit crazy, I'm still appreciative of him. I have a lot of healing around this and a lot of forgiveness. But that is the truth of the matter. And I was like, you know, I'm a little tired of this and I'm done with it. And I've been done with it before. And I think what got to me more was why I was triggered because I don't care what they think. But obviously, if I'm triggered, I do. So I had to do a tiny bit of work around that. And that was kind of just in, in my body, in my system. I talked to one friend and it wasn't like running, ruining my day or anything. It was just I was aware of it. And I was sharing it with another friend who has a very good family who I, she doesn't know this about my family. And she left me a message saying, I'm really sorry that you had to go through that. I'm really sorry. And I left her another message. And I said, you know, you don't know much about me in this aspect because I don't talk about it, but this is the way my family's been my whole life. And I'm not saying it for pity. I'm just revealing it. I'm letting people see the truth. So yesterday, this morning, going back to this morning. So I'm processing all of this and I'm processing my expansion and my growth and where I'm going and knowing I'm worthy of so much more and standing in that worth and feeling empowered and building my business to the next level and building my life to the next level and deciding what I'm going to do, you know, what my next set of goals are. And um, having a lot of dreams that is, last night I had a dream about all of my brothers and, you know, everything's just coming to the surface. And I've gotten very comfortable with uncomfort, with discomfort. Because discomfort means I'm changing, I'm growing, I'm expanding. And I the way I view it is how it's important. So I'm journaling about it this morning and um, I'm thinking about things and I have a big day today in front of me with work and I'm like, oh, I hope everything goes okay, you know, and I go into the bathroom and I feel something on my head and I'm like, motherfucker. And this fucking thing is biting my head and I pull out a tick. Now... Northern California it was crazy ticks. I've been bit by many ticks. Again, no unsolicited advice. And I'm like, shit. And I grab the little fucker and I put him in a plastic bag because I got to decide if I bring him in to analyze him or what I'm going to do. My body's already aching from the yeast. And then I had a Slack message last night from the one team member telling me, you know, her grievances. 
I didn't respond to it because I knew I needed to get into guidance. And here's why I'm telling you all of this. So I finished my journal session and I go out for a walk with the dogs. And then I go into my channel session because I know that my guides are going to give me the best advice on how to handle the disruption on my team. And I get into meditation and they never get into story. They never make anybody wrong because it's not about that. It's about my life. They're not going to say, you know, blah, blah, blah is wrong because she's doing da, 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 da. They don't do any of that. So I'm sitting in meditation. I'm walking through things. I'm talking through things with them. And they said, let her go. Let her go. And I, they said, do it right now. Because they knew I had, like, they gave me what I needed to say and everything. So I went to Slack and I messaged her in a very loving way, but in a very strong, powerful way, but also honoring her experience too. We both had experiences, right? And I don't want to, she wasn't mean. She was good. It it just wasn't the right fit for both of us, right? So I'm not going to get into that, you know, but she's a nice person. And so I just very powerfully stood my ground though. I had to look at the agreement And I shared and she wrote back and she said, I think it's best we just part ways. I said, we could part ways, but I can give you this one project if you want it. But I think it's best we part ways. And she said, I think it's best we part ways today. And I said, I agree. So it it ended perfect and great. And I hope, you know, whatever it is. The reason why I'm sharing all this with you, and right after that, um, there's more outpouring of support for my members. And again, we haven't sent the next email out. And I just closed my eyes and connected with Jesus and connected into the light and the love. And I just want what's best for everyone because everybody's going to have their experience. I'm not here to manipulate people's experiences. I'm here to bring my brightest and lightest and greatest to people. But I realized something today. I've been doing this work for over 15 years and I realized the biggest reason why I do this work. I realized that It doesn't matter if I don't have the support from my family. It doesn't matter if I'm living in a location where I don't have a lot of close friends. Although I got to tell you, I'm starting to make friends, but it doesn't matter. What matters is, is that I have this unseen support that unconditionally loves me and I believe it and I feel it and I own it and it blows me away how they support me. And how they're constantly giving me solutions in everyday affairs, in practical, grounded advice. And I recognized today, this morning, that this is why I'm doing what I'm doing at the next level I'm doing it. The program I'm very focused on is Next Level Living. And you could read about it at marilynaloria.com forward slash next. Because I really want people to understand that it, it can feel like your whole life is falling apart. But if you're in connection with your guides, you're going to understand why. You're going to be able to make really great decisions and choices as you walk through it. Powerful choices for yourself. And you're going to be able to take the loose threads of the experience of your life and weave it into something more magical, more beautiful, and more incredible and amazing. And that's why I'm here. So I feel like... You're going to really enjoy this prediction. I'll tell you why in a second, but I do want to tell you about a class that I'm teaching. It's a live class and you can read about it at marilynaloria.com forward slash new class, N-E-W-C-L-A-S-S, new class, marilynaloria.com forward slash new class. And it starts, the live portion of it starts, I think January 10th, Um, but you'll get a recorded class on December 19th to prepare you for the material. And then there'll be three live calls and you can read about it. It's a very short page because it's, you just have to feel into it. If it feels right for you, then it's right for you. Take the class and come join me and I'm going to help you 10x your life because it's really, truly changed my life. So, um, this prediction, so I do the predictions I've been doing them. I think it's like seventh or eighth year. I don't even know. And, um, it was, I did a whole thing about when this woman said on my, um, she said, I didn't predict shit. And I thought that was really funny because I'm not the reader, even though I'm doing readings now and I will give you future forecasting for sure. And I will tell you things that are going to happen. Not in this prediction. This prediction is more about how to navigate the journey of your life. But it was kind of surprising for me because I'm not one of these blow your, blow the smoke up the butt reader. Like it's going to be great. 
going to be this. Thank goodness I hate when people say, I can't wait till this year is over. I'm like, it's just time. It's just time. Accept it for what it is. Change your life now. I'm writing my goals now. I'm not waiting till January 1st to go on a diet or get into health or change my goals. I work on them every single day. So, um, but what I loved about this prediction was it's a year of adventure. And that was different. Because I think it was like 19... Uh, 2019, when I really became aware about how people were like, oh, please let 2020 be great. It's got to be great. 2019 sucked. And I became very aware of it then. I'm pretty sure that was the first year where I was like, you guys have to stop doing that. And I didn't know, I didn't have um, the forecasting, the foresight of 2020, what 2020 was going to bring. I'm sure the predictions talked a bit about it, but I don't think they talked about, I didn't know about a pandemic at all. So I don't remember what that prediction was um, because I very rarely go back and listen to them. I just channel them and give them out. But this one was fun because it was about like adventure and joy and playing. And I was like, that's good. This is going to be good for people. And I don't, like I said, I move myself out of the way and I just let them talk through me. I don't say things that you want to hear. I say things that they want to deliver. So do enjoy it. If you really like this particular podcast, I am looking for more ratings on Apple. I would love, love, love that. Um, So if you can rate, review on uh, Apple Podcasts, that would be amazing. And also share this one with whoever you want to share it with. By all means, get it out there. And if you're interested in my new class, go to marilynaloria.com forward slash new class and check it out and come join us for a magical mystery tour catapulting you into the next level life in 2023. And if you're listening to this after that class, don't worry about it. I will, it'll be evergreen. So you'll be able to purchase it probably. I haven't decided yet. I never know until I teach the class how I feel about the material, but it'll probably be available for sale. All right, guys, sending you a ton of love. Bye. Hi, everyone. This is Marilyn Aloria, and this is the 2023 channeled predictions for my guides. Before I jump into this, for those of you who are new to me, I am a psychic medium, a teacher, and a mentor. I mainly help people discover their truth, align with it, and live a life from their heart and soul. I work with a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs and people who are in a professional career that is no longer calling for them and they are looking to switch and move into their divine career the thing that's really been calling them the the career that they are passionate about inspired by even if they're not even clear what that career is they just know that there's something else they're meant to do in this world and they are stepping out to do it okay you can read more about me at marilynaloria.com And if you're listening to this on my podcast and you like what you hear, please rate, review, and subscribe and share it with everyone. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk a tiny bit about 2022 first before we move into 2023. 2022, especially the second half of the year, was very, um, for some of us, anchored in fear, Spirit says. So it was really important that there was a lot of energy and a lot of uh, grids being created that have fear mechanisms in them. So a lot of fear trigger points. And it was very important for you to decide if you were going to believe uh, the fear or if you were going to decide that what was being spoken or what you were hearing or what you were feeling was not your truth and you were choosing to align with a different truth. It did create a lot of stuck energy for a lot of people afraid to move because they were possibly picking up information from out in the world that now was the time not to make any decision. Now was the time to not choose to move forward into big places. And spirit feels that there is furthest from the truth. Now you have to use your consciousness and be smart about what it is you choose to do because if you choose to make a big decision and move forward into something, you can't do it from a place of fear. So you can't decide to do it and then go out and do it. And then all of a sudden it doesn't work out because that's how life is. Things don't always go very smoothly. You can't then decide, you know what, I was wrong. I'm afraid. And that'll just shut everything down. 
So I'm going to ask them to slow down a bit so that I can get everything through that I want to get through to you. But before I move into more of the message right now, which is going to be how to really contain your energy and work from the inside out to create the momentum that you're desiring in 2023. And a lot of um, angelic energy is coming through for this, a lot of crystalline energy, a lot of energy from other planets, uh, other star systems, other soul systems, solar systems are, is coming in to help us, as well as energy from the planet, our own planet, from Earth, the elements, fire, water, um, wood, air, all of that is coming in to support us as well. They are actually burning a beautiful campfire and asking what it is that you want to put in that campfire to really be released from and to let go of once and for all. So the way that I work is I'm speaking to my guides who I feel because we have such a, I don't, I, people have a limited consciousness and, and I do too, right? Because we're human. But so the next statement may throw you a little bit, but my guides know exactly who's going to be listening to this recording whenever they listen to it. And they are speaking to your guides. So they know exactly how to reach into other guidance to really bring through the message that'll help the masses. So whenever I do a reading, my guides are speaking to the person's guides and they are bringing through the highest information. They're also reading the soul and letting the soul know what they're capable of. My predictions are different because they're very action oriented. We are no longer in a society. I don't know that we ever were. But I can tell you from 2020 on, it has shifted a lot where how we are living, we have to be active in our choices, taking action and moving forward. So if you are someone who sits back and just meditates and visualizes and expects the world to meet you at your doorstep and knock on your door, my predictions will not really speak to that. And I'm not saying that that belief is wrong because we all have to align with the belief that is our highest truth. But the way that my guidance works is it really taps into the light inside of you, the eternal light, the infinite wisdom light, and how to rise that, raise that up so that it's so bright that you're attracting in opportunities and experiences that truly reflect your highest light but you have to take action and you have to be open to opportunities and you have to know what to say yes to and what to say no to. And you have to be the driver of your own ship, your own car, whatever metaphor you want to use in this moment. Okay. So it's a little bit different than the way you may expect predictions to be, but I'm going to run through them with every very action oriented ideas for you in order to have the best experience in this life. And one of the things Spirit is asking me to bring forward to you is people have this mm, belief that once they decide to do their dream, to act on it, things are going to be easy. And the opposite is true uh, True of that. It is, it gets really uncomfortable. It can get, it can feel really hard you're going to have to build character traits that you need for specific opportunities. So say you're looking to write a book or speak on stages or even have a child. These are things that you're not, you haven't done before. They're new. And there may be certain things inside of you, character traits inside of you that you don't yet have. So certain situations will come forward that will help you build resilience, courage, inspiration, intuition, all the things that you may need for that particular experience. Don't look at them as if the universe is saying to you, you can't have this or you don't deserve it. Look at it as an opportunity to grow because the universe is actually saying, we've got you, we're going to help you, and we're going to support you on this journey. But there's some work that you need to do in order to meet it and to continue moving through it. So, 2022 was a lot about gathering community and letting go of community. It was also a time in which you may have done a lot of self-reflection and a lot of inner aerobics, inner being aerobics, where the inside out, you were really creating and cultivating 
and working from the inside out. You were learning what it was you were capable of. You may have had some grief that you were dealing with. You may have really looked at yourself in a new light, in a new way, and you may have experienced some sadness as you worked through it. But you were committed to the shifts and the changes and the experiences that you wanted, and the work really had to be done from the inside out. The work always has to be done from the inside out. So I'm going to switch gears a second and tell you just a tiny bit about my own life. And um, if this is on my podcast, a lot of you have been following me. My podcast is Who Can It Be Now? And you can hear a lot about my story. So in 2022, 2021, at the end of 2021, I decided to 10x my life. And I was super excited about it. I was sitting down journaling um, with the candles burning. And I was so excited. And I decided to 10x my life because there were certain areas of my life where the needle wasn't moving fast enough. And I got serious with myself and I knew it was my responsibility and I asked my guides what is it that I'm not doing in order to move the needle forward in these particular areas where it's barely moving and spirit said you need to 10x your life and I thought wow that sounds amazing I'm going to 10x my life and I went out and contacted someone who I know who did it for his life and I said so what did you do can you tell me certain things that you did and he shared some experiences. He shared some programs and I dove right in. And it was one of the wonkiest years I've had. And it was one of the most inspiring years I've had and creative and innovative and scary and rocky and beautiful. It truly was an experience of beauty and pain mixed together that created an entirely new light inside of me. It grew a light inside of me and it helped me to become the person I am now growing to be even more so. So what I want to share with you is I want to do away with that misnomer that when you decide to do something great, it should be easy, and it's not. And and really what it is is your perspective. So I got very clear that with every challenge that came my way, I knew that spirit was moving some type of boulder out of my way and waking me up to some new consciousness and growing something inside of me that I needed in order to move forward. So I didn't look at it as, as difficult as it was at times and scary sometimes, I didn't look at it as it was happening to me. I knew it was happening for me. And I embraced that and moved through it. And I embraced it walking with my guides the entire way and channeling constantly to get the information of why certain things were happening and what to do with the situation that was happening. And one of the moments, one of the most clear, the clearest moment I had I was in the forest. I live in a lot of, uh, surrounded by nature. And I said out to my guides and to God, this has got to change. It has to change. And I heard right away, then give up fear. You have to give up fear. So that is something that I'm offering up to all of you, giving up fear once and for all. And As I gave it up, and I will tell more, there'll be more stories about what I went through in 2022 as I prepare for 2023 on my podcast, so you can listen more to it on Who Can It Be Now? But as I decided and committed, it was like I went in the forest, I said, okay, I'm giving up fear, and then I left the forest and I said, okay, I gave up fear. And it was really interesting to be conscious of how fear shows up in my life and making a conscious decision to give it up. That's not something you decide overnight. That's something you work at. So whatever it is you need to release and leave in 2022, make a decision to do it. Take a, be a very active participant in it and decide to do it. Because you're the one who's in charge of your life. When I, I started doing readings again, and one of the biggest thing I, things I say to people 
especially if they're new to me. A lot of people know how I work. I have return clients. But I say the reading is the beginning of the journey. Take what you like and leave the rest. You are the master of your own destiny. And it is so true. So decide to be the master of your destiny. Decide to make the changes you need to make as you move forward. So for many of you, Spirit is talking about travel and getting clear about the type of travel and adventure you would like to experience in 2023. So they would like you to start out the year with almost an adventure calendar. So I have a thing that I teach called the Souls List. And if you go to my YouTube channel, Marilyn Aloria, uh, Marilyn Aloria YouTube channel, you will find an old video called the Souls List. You could just put in my name and the Souls List and you will find it. And I suggest all of you doing that this year. And let me know, like tag me on social media at Marilyn Aloria one on my Facebook page, or you can follow me on my personal Facebook page or Instagram, Marilyn Aloria, and tell me what your Souls List what you've wrote on it. Souls List is one of the biggest tools I have given to my communities and have seen them change their lives through it. And it's, it's a, an incredible moment of waking up to what it is that you truly desire, what it is you don't desire. It has worked for people to get super clear about their goals. I just, a student just went through that now and she totally woke up to something and didn't even realize it is what she truly wanted. And she shared it with all of us. And then I, I know somebody else who wrote her souls list and went out and met her husband. So do this work for yourself because this is ownership of how you want to have fun. And Spirit's like, we all need a little fun right now. And whether you can afford travel or not, don't put caveats in your way. Don't put barriers in your way. Sometimes my wording is off because spirit does not speak to me in words. They speak to me in vibration. I have to try to interpret it the best way I can. So just know that if you're like, she's using that word in the wrong context, I probably am using it in the wrong context. Back to spirit. So it's about fun, right? So if you can't do a certain thing that you want to do, get a jar and put a dollar a week in it or a dollar a day in it. But also saturate yourself with that experience that you're desiring. So if you're wanting to go to Egypt, you're wanting to go to Israel or some beautiful place, watch videos about it, read books about it, go to the bookstore and go through the travel section. In January, Spirit is asking that you really participate in your life, like every week do something fun. And it doesn't have to be something big. We can make a cup of tea and watch animal videos and it'll raise our vibration because they said the most important thing that you have to remember to do is to continue to raise your vibration so you are having experiences that meet that vibration. And if you're dragging yourself around in your life, you're only going to be met with more of the dragging type of vibration. So the first month they're offering up to you, and also as you end 2022 and moving into 2023, is have some fun. It's about time everyone has some fun. And don't deny yourself the dreams in your heart. Maybe you want to take a class about crystals. Maybe you want to start doing some embroidery. Go into Michael's, walk around and buy some fun crafts things and do that. Don't make it such a big project that it has to be perfect. Matter of fact, Spirit says, choose things that you don't have to be good at. They really want you to open the door of excitement, inspiration, innovation, creativity, fun. No matter how creative you think you are, all souls are creative. They're showing me a bridge. They're actually showing me the Brooklyn Bridge, which is an important bridge for me. And the Brooklyn Bridge for me was, I grew up in Brooklyn, then moved to Manhattan. And it was a way of getting out of my life. It was, a, it was such an important bridge for me to shift my way of thinking, my way of being, and my way of living. Nothing against Brooklyn, because I loved Brooklyn and how I grew up and where I grew up, not how I grew up, but just where I grew up. Um, but it was time for me to take an avenue to something bigger and greater and more opportunity and more expansion. And it opens up your eyes. Oh, there is more. 
Because when you open up your eyes and you start having fun and creativity, more solutions drop in. And many of you want to write books. Many of you want to start podcasts. Many of you want to create a course. There are things that you are desiring to do that you just keep putting on the back shelf or saying, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And Spirit's saying, if that is a dream of yours, one of the best ways into it is doing something fun and creative. It's not work. When you do what you love, it is not work. So why not start with something that doesn't feel like work in order to create the thing in your life that you want to create? Okay, February is about leaping. And I know it's not a leap year, but they're showing me a frog. It's also about clairvoyancy. They're highlighting clairvoyancy. So go into January when you're having a lot of fun, you're clear about your souls list, you're, you're committing to your goals. You have to commit to your goals. If you're afraid of the word goals, ask yourself why. Most successful people, if not all that I've listened to, and I haven't listened to every successful person in the world, they set goals. And they set goals weekly, they set goals daily, they set goals monthly. If you're afraid of the word goals, ask yourself why. Because some people are afraid to set goals because they don't meet them. That's a great thing. It's not about the end result. It's about the journey that you're on when you're going towards that goal. Be proud of the milestones. Even if your milestone is an inch, that's a milestone. So set goals, leap forward, know that you can leap and make a decision to leap. And make sure you have self-care in those decisions because you will need them, Spirit said. You will need to take care of yourself in those moments. Be like the fool card in the tarot deck. Standing on the precipice. Is he going to walk back and go back to where he came from? Or is he going to jump off the cliff into the unknown, trusting spirit all the way? Every month, they want you journaling about your biggest change, your biggest decision, your biggest, whether it worked, whether it didn't work. It does not matter, Spirit says. Stop judging yourself. Be proud of what you've done. Acknowledge the things that you did. Acknowledge what you didn't do and change it. The victims cannot live fully in the experience we're moving into in this world, you have to take action and you have to choose to be, I'm trying to find a word. I don't know if warrior is the right word, captain of your ship, whatever it is that speaks to you, you have to decide to do it. I don't think they're going to have me go through every month. I'm going to go through March now. March for me is about rest. It's about, it feels like there's a little bit that comes up in March that may have some grieving to it. And grief can be very difficult. We all have our own experience of it, but they're not talking about the grief. It's more of the loss, acknowledging losses in yourself that dreams that didn't come to fruition, but also acknowledging maybe there's something in that dream that is salvage salvageable, you know what I'm saying, S-A-L-V-A-G, not even going to try to sell it. It's, you can salvage it. Let's try that. I don't, I'm not a perfectionist, as you can tell. Um, you can salvage it. And there might be something about that dream. We do something in the SAS experience, the SAS pillar system, and it's alignment with your soul, the, the, the first S of subconscious thinking. I'm not going to go through this all. The A is about alignment with your soul, and it's about remembering something you wanted to do that you didn't do, and you didn't get the chance to do, and maybe you can't do it. But there are character traits in that thing that you wanted to do, or there were reasons, the reasons why you wanted to do it, that still exist today. So if there's something you're grieving about in the month of March, this is a great month to stick your feet in the gr grass, out in the ground, and allow yourself to feel it. Don't deny yourself the emotional experience and don't make yourself wrong for it. And get through it and be done with it and move on. But see what is possible still in that experience that will help you to carry it through. 
something maybe um, I tell this story. I wanted to be an actress years ago. I was briefly. And um, the, the reason why is I love motivating people through story. I love teaching people and through story and having them see themselves in that story and go through the hero's journey and have an experience and feel hopeful and feel like somebody sees and hears them and then they discover their own truth. And it's a very, it's, it's why I wanted to be an actress. And then I realized I didn't want to be an actress because I didn't want to be somebody else. I wanted to be myself doing that particular thing. So you want to take a look at what it is that you wanted to do and don't hide it, dust it off, bring it out into the open, take a good look at it, shed the tears if you need to, and then move forward and take with you what you need to take with you. So I'm going to end this in April. And there's a reason. Usually I do the whole year and we'll see what they say. April is about creation. It's about Lining with you. people used to be afraid of their truth. I don't know. I did a survey years ago and 50% were afraid of it and 50% weren't. And I feel like then people felt they were powerless to their lives. And if they learned their truth, it, would, it wouldn't be what they wanted. Nothing could be further from the truth. Your truth is what you want. Your truth is your deepest desires. So in April, it feels to me like you anchor into it even more and you're like, wow, this is great. This is where I want to be. And you move forward through it. Go to marilynlaurie.com forward slash guide and you will meet a guide, your own personal guide. I would like you to go into this guidance in April with your guide. I'd like you to walk a path with a guide. It makes life so much easier. But April for me, for all of you, and for myself included, is all about creativity. It might be a good time to travel. It'll be a good time to fall in love. It'll be a great time to try that new sport you wanted to try. It'll be a great time to take a class. It'll be a great time to throw out your wardrobe and pick something new to wear. Great time to cook new food and try new foods. It's a really great time of discovery. Okay, so normally when I do these, I do the whole year. But for some reason, they're having me not do the year. And I feel the reason is I may end up doing the rest of the year in my podcast. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not making any promises. The main reason they're giving me is they're like, you write in the rest of the year. You decide. I teach people how to read for themselves and how to channel. So spirits like, have them write down May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Have them tap into their own intuition, their deeper wisdom, and have them write down what it is they feel is going to happen. And let them live there. Let them, that, that be their navigational truth for their year. Let that be the alignment for them. And I love that. I've never done that before. I've been doing these for years and I've never done that before. I hope that you enjoy that. Let me know your thoughts about it. Please do um, check me out on social media, Marilyn Aloria one on my uh, business page on Facebook and Marilyn Aloria on Instagram. And let me know how the prediction was for you, your biggest takeaway. Definitely share this if you like it. And if you'd like to learn more about what I do, go to MarilynAloria.com. And the biggest program that I have right now is either the SAS experience. So you can go to joinsass.com or MarilynAloria.com forward slash next, N-E-X-T. It's about next, uh, it's called Next Level Living. And it's about 10xing your life from the inside out. Thank you so much. And I am sending you so much love. Have an incredible experience with this prediction and enjoy your life and live it to the fullest. Don't be afraid of your truth. Know that your truth loves you and love it back. Sending you a lot of love. Mm -hmm.